Hi and welcome to the Resources Roadhouse, I'm Wally Graham. I'm at the 2023 RIU Explorers Conference in Fremantle where I caught up with Brett Smith, Managing Director of Corazon Mining. Brett, good to see you again. You too, Wally. All right, so Brett, I mean, it, there's a lot of lithium companies here. Sure is. And I believe that Corazon Mining has now joined those ranks. Yeah, well, um, I guess uh, you probably know, Wally, that we've picked up a new project in Western Australia, a new nickel project that uh, complements what we've got in Canada at large resources at Lynn Lake. Uh, field checking the other day, our, our chief geologist found spodumene sticking out of the ground in a pegmatite, so that... Uh, it will be a focus of uh, exploration at Miriam, just outside of Kilgardie, but nickel is still our main focus. Well, I suppose there's no point picking up a project these days if it doesn't have spodumene. So did you go out looking for the spodumene or were you looking for nickels? Yeah, uh, well, we were, we were just checking the ground for access, actually, and uh, there's some old gold workings there, and the spodumene was in the, in the, in the pegmatite, quite obvious. Spodumene's, a, a, I guess, lithium's a difficult thing to assay in the, in the weathering profile, and these were quite weathered samples. But we got up to about 1.89% lithium in, in one of the rock chips. Yeah. All right, so they're pretty good numbers when you're just sort of going out there and kicked a few rocks. Yeah, thin soil cover, and this was just exposed in a small area. So we've just completed a, a soil geochemistry gem, chemistry program, and we'll see what the footprint of the lithium pigmentites are. All right, so does this sort of uh, mean a total sort of refocusing with this new project? You know, like if you went out as a nickel project, does that really now become a lithium nickel instead of <laughs> nickel lithium? No, but it's something we can't ignore. Uh, there's a lot of value in lithium at the moment, as there is in all the battery metals. I mean, our, without a doubt, our big asset is the Lynn Lake. It's got the, the large resources, nickel sulphide resources. We're trying to reinvent the wheel there and make, this in, make Lynn Lake into a long-term, long-life, low-cost mining operation. That can't happen overnight. So at the same time, we are valued as an exploration company. Lynn Lake's a big exploration front for us, as is Mount Gilmore, uh, copper, gold, cobalt project in New South Wales. And the latest one is Miriam in Western Australia. But that's a, that's a, it's a great exploration asset. The Miriam sulphide project just deposit, discovered in 1969, never developed, still sitting there. All right, so um, obviously uh, a little bit more work to go out before you start drilling out there, though. Uh, we hope to be able to put our work permits in for drilling in the next in the coming weeks, and then we're just waiting on the government. All right, so let's quickly touch on Lynn Lake. Uh, just give us a quick update what's going on in Canada. Okay, we've got a dual focus in Lynn Lake. One is pure exploration, looking for the next big uh, deposits at Lynn Lake, but the other one is also um, taking our large database of drilling, looking, looking geologically what we have, and trying to create a modern green nickel project. Now, Lynn Lake has a benefit of infrastructure. It's got hydropower. It's class one nickel sulphide. It's got a huge resource. And so we think that's going to be a, a project for the future. All right, mate. Well, good luck with the, uh, the new project. It sounds promising. Thanks, like Wally. And keep us in, uh, up to date with what's going on there. Uh, until then, we'll catch up with Thanks, you later. Wally. See you next time.